One day by Bongasesi Tetra and he has a collision with the Klompe Kekan and he's come undone in the process. The headache for Lipa Klongwani. And there's the two players down, Tetra and uh, Klongwani. And uh, we hear that there's a blood injury, so uh, I can understand the wriggling around from the 27-year-old former Cosmos and uh, Chakuma man, but this is not looking good for Leopards at the moment. They do have to be some Aquena, who's a holding midfielder who can come on. In fact, there's nothing Sompo did. No, he stood and watched. He, 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 just, he just backed out of it. Colliding. Yeah. Get a prime seat in the house. And that now there's a lot more concern from the bench, and they want the medical staff on quickly because for Lipa Kongwani. Lipa Kongwani is in trouble. That's a serious head injury. Well, it seemed to hit him like on the temple, and yeah, and you once you get hit on the temple, oh no, that slides off. Yeah, Isaac Masia trying to get the uh, medical staff on. It'll be a blow for Black Leopard to lead to lose Lipa Klongwani. Well, he's breathing. It looks uh, to be okay. Still looks to be in some sort of pain because the breathing's very shallow, Brian. Yeah. All oh, this blood on top of the head of Mtetwa too. Well, from Tetra is just needs to be patched up. But I think the biggest worry for me is uh, is Klongwani because of the breathing thing he might need oxygen do they have the oxygen thing for for him there's possibilities that we might see this man well they're going to need him guess and serena on for super cyclium keys there so that's an interesting one taking out uh, more of a defensive midfielder and bringing on an out and out attacker in the Uruguayan who played for Bolivar in Bolivia. Yeah, not a good sign. Look, he's in, he's in good care here by the look of things as far as uh, Liverpool Guan is concerned. That, uh, the player that's gone off was uh, Sabongi Senium Tetra. So the biggest challenge is that you have two players who have head injuries. Yes. Now, do you risk playing either of the two? You know, yes, you know, in as much as you see him, Tetra is fully conscious. But Who's likely uh, to come on? That's Mamumi Abubakar, I think. Yes, he can play in that midfield, that hold, holding midfield. But, uh, well, he's still lying prostrate on the field of play. Oh, it was all done from a Leopard's point of view. And Klompo Kukana had a watching brief. He pulled out of the challenge. Cheapest, that is such a tough, hard challenge onto the very sensitive area. Yeah, that's Just about that they bring the ambulance right onto the field of play and off to uh, a hospital that's pretty close to the stadium. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's never good when you have an head injury and a player that's been down for the length of time that Lee Van Klongwani has been down. We do wish him well and he gets the correct treatment and that there is a bed available for him. And, uh, yeah, let's have a look at it again. It's not pretty looking, not pretty viewing, ladies and gentlemen. Enough pain. Not easy to watch, but uh, we wish him speedy recovery. Of the nature that we have here at the Toronto Stadium, and uh, we know that Lipa Kongwani has now received treatment at the stadium. He's now in the ambulance and he's going to be